Welcome to the Canadian Coach.ca. Here we are to learn more about our things that have Mr. Dan Murray from yourrestorationcoach.com with us today. Welcome, Dan. Well, it's so good to be here, Dave. And cheers from Halifax. I know you're in the Ottawa area, and it's a great day here in, uh, in Halifax. Excellent. So uh, this platform is to really showcase our our members here at the Canadian Coach. So we would like to hear and learn more about you. So I don't know if you want to start uh, off by just simply uh, telling us a bit about yourself. Well, I've been a full-time business coach um, for 10 years. Uh, and before that, I was uh, uh, several years as a franchisee. Uh, and then uh, 10 years as a franchisor. And the, my background as a franchisor uh, really got me interested in the coaching profession. Really being a franchisor is a lot like being a coach uh, because you're uh, working with your franchisees all the time and helping them to, uh, uh, to market themselves, to get better profitability, to grow, develop, uh, because the more that they do that, the, the larger the uh, franchise or royalty checks become. So, uh, and it was a great background for that. Um, and I, I work in a specific area and, and uh, you know, what I've found is that, you know, to use a Canadian term is for many, many years, I was on the ice. I was uh, doing almost every position and sometimes I felt like I was playing every shift. Uh, but when you're the coach, you're, uh, on the bench and you know it's a, it's a whole different dynamic but it's every bit as thrilling every bit as rewarding and every bit as uh, you know dynamic in all that we do so uh, you know but but I, I work with small business owners uh, it's, it's medium-sized business owners and I help them build real value in their business excellent so I spoke a bit about why you became a coach at Backbone of your history uh, from the franchise era. Could you elaborate a little bit more of specifically how or why you decided to become a coach? Well, I, to be honest with you, <laughs> you know, that's what the, you know, I have to be honest, right? Is that, is that I had a business partnership that didn't go well. So I decided to uh, get out of that business partnership uh, and I was looking around and I had a couple of friends of mine that said, Dan, you'd make a great coach in this industry. So would you consider coming, uh, you know, getting involved and helping me? And I, and I did that a couple of times with some people. And I said, wow, I really like this. This is very rewarding, uh, you know, to, to help people through. Uh, and it's basically taking, uh, you know, the years of experience that I've had in, in running businesses. I've had several uh, operational businesses and been involved in two franchise or networks. So I've had a lot of, uh, been very blessed with lots of experiences and being able to pass that on to people to save them having to go through that expensive, uh, uh, you know, lessons themselves of making the mistakes or spending the time or energy or money on areas of the business that, um, you know, for the most part, you know, uh, someone with some experience could help them through and without them having to go through the pain. And uh, being a coach is as much about relieving the pain as it is about helping them with the game, right? So, um, you know, it's, it's been a, you know, the, the area that I work in specifically is with contractors, uh, any service-based contractor, anyone has a service truck, uh, anyone that, you know, from my majority of my clients are uh, contractors that do insurance claims. That's why my name is yourrestorationcoach.com. And, but I've also worked with roofers and electricians and plumbers, anyone with service vehicles, because I understand the model. I understand the, uh, that type of an area. So that's, uh, that's who I serve. And then that's kind of what I do. Now, so I guess at the same point that if you were to paint a picture for us here, of what your ideal client would be, what would they look like? Uh, great question. The, uh, the ideal client is a small business owner to medium size. By small, I mean at least $1 million in revenue, uh, up to about 10 is usually the sweet spot that I work in. And these are business owners that, for the most part, uh, grew up on, in, on the tools. Uh, they were carpenters or carpet cleaners or uh, electricians or plumbers themselves. And then they started hiring one person, two people, three people. And all of a sudden, they've got a multi-million dollar business. 
they're very good at their trade. They know how to solve the customer's problems, but all the dynamics of running in the business and keeping profitability where it should be and where it could be and, and, and helping with the financing, the growth and dealing with the bank and dealing with all the things that you have to deal with. That's where um, my uh, strengths are in, in helping them on the back office type of administration systems, marketing, and the, the uh, because uh, a lot of these people, and for the most part, they are guys, but I, do, I have worked with some uh, some lady business owners in these, in these business niches. They uh, understand their business. I don't have to teach them their trade, but they, they just get uh, overwhelmed, frustrated, and they know they're leaving money on the table. Uh, they know that there's things in their business that they need to do to correct and to get on the right path to be more profitable. And if I can just go on to say one more thing the the majority of people that i've been working with are baby boomers in the last few years and what i found with baby boomers so many business owners small businesses their whole net worth for their retirement the vast majority at least is tied up in their business and they don't know how they're ever going to capitalize it how they're going to get out now getting out could be transitioning to a family member it could be selling to an outside party it could be selling to employees or it could be hiring a general manager and while they can go and spend their uh, winters in uh, Victoria or Kelowna. And um, we won't say Florida because we're the Canadian coaches, right? <laughs> but, uh, you know, how, how do we help them build real value in, in, so that they can maximize when the time comes, whether it be one year or 10 years down the road? And the same principles that help get a business ready to transition at some point are the same principles that get the owner out of the owner's trap where every decision is going to be theirs. It helps them leave their cash flow. It helps them uh, have a better profit margin. So it's kind of a win, 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 no matter how you uh, work it with these small business owners that I work with. Absolutely. So you mentioned a bunch of uh, results that you help your clients achieve. Is there anything else that you could add to uh, what you mentioned about uh, what specifically you help your clients with? Well, we've licensed a unique program um, developed by a Canadian. It's all over the world now, and it's called the Value Building System. And we are uh, a certified value builder, uh, certified so that we can help people get a scorecard. Uh, and we uh, offer a complimentary scorecard, but it's a scorecard to, that we can do a benchmark, not only of how your business is, uh, where it is standing right now on the eight key principles, of any business from finance to growth, to cash flow, and all those sorts of things, marketing. Uh, but you can benchmark it against your industry, and we can also benchmark it uh, uh, against fellow competitors around your size. Of course, everything's unanimous. We, we Privacy is a huge thing for us. But, uh, and then usually with our clients, what we do is we do this uh, questionnaire and, and, and compile the results. And that at the end of each year, working with a client, we can actually benchmark, here's where we were, here's where we are, where do we have to move, what's the next level? Because I'm a big believer in you, you know, with especially working with clients, is that, okay, here's where we are, here's where we want to be. Once we get here, then we can look at going here. Too many people, I think, make the mistake of going, they want to go from zero to 100 miles an hour uh, without uh, taking a break. You know, you need to stop and and reevaluate and readjust and, and look at your people, uh, make some changes uh, that may be necessary and those sort of things. But yeah, that's the, 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 the benchmarking with a dashboard view, one page view of the eight key areas of your business is something that uh, we find is, is unique to what we offer and is a great benefit to our clients. Nice. And you certainly hear that passion uh, from your voice and uh, helping uh, your clients and being a coach, but what are some of the favorite items uh, for you of being a coach? Well, that's something that really hit me by surprise a few years ago once I get into doing this. Uh, I've had some very unique uh, circumstances. For example, one client um, was one of, well, actually was my first client. Uh, he hired me and says, Dan, I don't need you to help me know, learn how to make money. I know how to make money. I need you to help me structure my business so that I can have a personal life. 
and he was married for a few years and no family. He says, Dan, I want to have a family and I want to have the time to enjoy my family. So we worked with him for two full years. He was a one-on-one -on -one client. I went to his business every three months, spent a lot of time on the phone and email in between visits. And lo and behold, uh, after the, I think it was the third year after starting working with him, uh, he and his wife, uh, they were pregnant and had started their family. And he wrote a letter to me thanking me for that he had the um, confidence that he could have a family and spend time, quality time with his kids. And uh, it went on to some other personal things I won't get into, but I read this. I was on the road somewhere in Western Canada and I opened my email and I saw this and I literally cried like a baby in the hotel room. Uh, just, it was so emotional and I knew where he was coming from. He was so genuine. So uh, there's many other things like that. That's probably the most dramatic, but I just want to, you know, the fact that you can help people and get through and, and, and help them do a transformation. Look, there's so much information out there that, you know, we're overwhelmed with information. What people want is transformation. And when you do that as a coach, it's magic. Yeah, no, I certainly agree with that. And here, uh, the balance, the element of balance. And as a good coach, I think that's part of it. all of our regimes is, uh, you know, there's the business struggle, there's the life struggles, but creating balance through it all is something that we all at some point have struggled with. And as, as a base platform, I think that balance is such a key thing that uh, always seems to get discussed uh, with our clients. So, yes. Oh, go ahead. No, no. And I think, you know, we, you and I do that, but we're on different ends. I know a bit about your business and you do it from getting people out of their shell and getting them out and doing outside adventures and getting them out doing things that uh, they wouldn't normally not be comfortable with per se. And, you know, and, and, and the way that I uh, tackle it is more from getting your business structured in a way that you can go and do those things because people get so but um, work so hard in their businesses. You know, as the old saying goes, someone told me many years ago, we only have to work a half a day when you're on your own business. It doesn't make any difference which 12 hours. Yeah, true. <laughs> so if we were to uh, remove ourselves from uh, quote unquote work, uh, what are some things that you do for fun uh, on your own time? Well, my uh, lovely wife and I, we've been married 41 years now. Uh, one of the things that we really love to do is ride our Harley. Uh, she used to have a bike, but now she rides on uh, back with me. But we love touring on the on the Harley, and this probably explains a little bit of this. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the uh, I usually, uh, uh, but no, we we love touring around Canada on on, on our Harley Davidson. We we go, uh, we live in Halifax, so we we explore the coastlines. We go off, uh, you know, we don't take the main, you know, uh, highways. We like getting on, exploring these. 60 to 80 kilometer an hour roads. And we uh, just love, you know, we'll, we'll pack a little uh, lunch or thermos full of tea, um, you know, stop at some areas that you would never stop and enjoy. Uh, driving by in a car, you just zoom by, but the smells, the ocean, uh, you know, here, feeling the temperature differentials. There's, there's, to us, there's nothing that beats enjoying a day on, the, uh, on, on, uh, on our motorcycle. And the freedom, and I think you said it right, in cars for some reason, we're often going to A and B and we miss so much of the sidelines versus slowing it down, taking a smaller route on a motorcycle, uh, smelling so many smells as well too, because your face is open or at least some air circulation is coming in the helmet and uh, I have a motorcycle as well. And I find that it, it's so great to get out and just disconnect and just focus on uh, your immediate surroundings. So that, uh, that certainly sounds like a lot of fun. Well, if you're ever down in uh, the Maritimes on your motorcycle, we'll have to get together for a ride. Definitely have to line up a tour. That'd be exciting. So speaking of uh, Maritimes, and let's maybe expand it a little bit more, uh, coming from the CanadianCoach.ca here, what are some elements that you love the most about Canada? Well, I've you know, had the privilege and opportunity, especially over the last 10 years, to work all across Canada. In fact, most of my clients are west of the Maritimes, Ontario and out west. Um, in, in the Maritimes, I was Dan, the guy that a lot of the contractors used to compete against. So, uh, but I spent a lot of time out, you know, in different areas of Canada. I found it's been just 
it's just a, it's an amazing country. Uh, you know, the, the, the scenery, from the scenery point of view, amazing. But one thing that's consistent are the people. Uh, you know, the people, are, for the most part, are genuine. They're hard workers. Um, you know, they, 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 they have a passion for wanting to give good customer service. And, uh, but I, I, you know, I just, and I have had um, the opportunity to work for many uh, contractors in the U.S. And we love our U.S. friends. Uh, they're a little bit more aggressive uh, in how their business practices are, and which is fine uh, for them. It has to be, that's what you have to work in your own culture. Uh, but I find that I, I work well within the Canadian uh, coaching uh, group serving my Canadian clients, and that uh, uh, it's been a very rewarding and still is. Excellent. So Dan, uh, do you want to maybe take a minute and uh, let us know how and what some of the best resources are to get in touch with you? Sure. Um, if you know, uh, my website is uh, yourrestorationcoach.com. Y O U R restorationcoach.com. And if you want to find me on uh, social media, I'm very uh, active on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. Use the hashtag build real value, and uh, you'll probably find some of my posts. And, uh, and I'd love to hear some comments, uh, get some questions, and uh, look forward to meeting new people. Uh, through the Canadian Coach Group, and if I can, uh, you know, help any other Canadian coaches, I'd love to do that as well. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Dan, uh, for your time today. I hope all the listeners out there got a little bit more insight, learn more about Dan. Uh, again, if you want to contact him, his name is Dan Murray at yourrestorationcoach.com. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. And uh, be sure to check out the other amazing coaches here at thecanadiancoach.ca. Ciao for now.